Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and in today's video, we will see the power of the text join function. Now let's assume that you have this data set. What we can see over here, we have the list of countries and cities and we just like to extract the name of the country and the city in front of each other. And we would like to join them and we want to have it in one row. Now we are going to see all this thing in today's video. Whenever you have your data set, always just spend some time to understand the patterns or the things which are missing in your data set. Now looking this data set, I'm not having this repetitive values, these blank cells. I need to fill it up with this uh, country called India. Now I need to repeat it two, three times. And if I go and typing all the way down, it will going to take a lot of time. So there is an easy trick what we can do. We can just select the column. We can call control G. And we can just go to special, select blank, perfect, OK. And now without touching anywhere on your keyboard, just press equals to and point it to the row above and press control enter. Now, once you press that, as you can see that it has filled down that information. Now let's go and work it out on another part of this video. Now we wanted to extract the list of the countries which are unique. Now there are two ways to do it where we have a formula we call unique and we are going to point it over here and we got list of all the countries which are unique over here now this is a dynamic solution if you get some new countries got added and you can just add it over here and it is going to update it now let me remove it from here if you don't have dynamic arrays then you, what you can do you can just simply point to that column make sure that you don't have anything below unless if the data remains the same you can go to data, go to advanced and select on copy to another location, unique records only. And we are going to place this unique records in D2. Perfect. So that's the way you can get the unique records. Now this is a non-dynamic solution or even what I can do is I can convert the data into Excel table. I just say command T and yes, my table has headers and let's say, okay. Now when I'm going to say unique, and I'm going to place the mouse on top of this column. You can see this arrow and it has selected the entire list of the countries. Close parentheses, enter. Now it's always good habit to give your table a name. So I'm going to call this as TBL country. Now when I'll come to my formula, I can understand that it is pointing to this table country and I'm extracting the column, which is country. Perfect. So far, everything is going good. Now let's go and grab the information of the cities. Now we need to build a logic over here. So, and we are going to pass that logic into text join. So what we are going to do is we'll say that, Hey, D3 equals to India, go and check wherever the India is there. Enter. So we are getting the values true and false. Now let me come down. This is for United Arab Emirates and you have to make sure that it stays the same. So by the way, right now we have pointed with the formula. So if I add India, so it will change to Indiana. Okay. So, but this is for India. So let's keep it as it is. But in case if your data set is not pointing with the formula, then make sure that your name is correct. That's very important. So coming back over here, now you can see over here to United Arab Emirates, we are getting true, true, true. Perfect. So this is the value which we need to pull from in our data from our data set. And we wanted to put it into the row. Now, if you want to know more about Spiller, then I would recommend you, you can go and check my earlier video that would uh, clarify all the details about Spiller. Now, this is a logic which we need right now. Now let's go and wrap this into an if function. And let's say that if this logic is true, then return me the city names, comma, or just give me the blank value. Now we got this city names over here. Now what we can do, you can just copy this formula, what you have constructed right now and call text join. And now we need to pass a delimiter. Now delimiter, is the one which will separate that information from each row. So let's say open quotes, comma, space, close quotes, comma, 
And if you have an empty cell, yes, we have empty cells. As you can see over here, we have these empty cells. So ignore that empty comma. And what is that text? Now that text is nothing but the formula which we have constructed. So close parentheses, enter. Voila, we have the list of the countries over here now. As you can see, I got all that list of that cities over here nicely being added. So this is how you can combine the multiple row information text into one row and you can use the different delimiters as well if you would like to just put a pipe character okay you can use a pipe character and it will separate it out with the pipe character as you can see over here so let's fill down this and it has separated with the pipe so that's all for today my friends and i'll be keeping a soft copy of this file on my website so you can feel free to download from there and make sure that you hit the like button and share this video subscribe to my channel and do let me know in the comment sections your thought and let me know if you have a better technique so that we can learn and you can share it to the community on the comment section or on my website on the forums so that we can learn and we can really utilize the power of excel so signing off for today see you soon happy learning bye